Hey, Saiyans. I hope people are transforming as, as they continue consuming uh, what I'm teaching here. Oh, by the way, today we actually are doing exercise 3.4 and you'll be doing it from student from student uh, A's perspective. Just so you know, I'll be having uh, three solutions on this exercise here. Okay, so without any waste of time, let's just get on to it. As always, we simply create a project and I will call it exercise uh, no underscore. It's 3.4. Again, we've got to pick a location. We gotta pick a location. Okay. Once we do that, once we do that, we simply create a, an exercise. Oh, before I do that, let's read through the question. Again, this is the textbook we're using, and in case you haven't yet got yourself a, a copy or your PDF, you don't have to have a hard copy, a PDF will do it. So, I mean, uh, once you, I mean, make sure you have your own cop. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Again, if you notice, this is not the latest Java edition. However, I'm doing it on purpose. It's 2020 this year. I know people might be watching this maybe after a year or now, perhaps after a decade from now. I can, I can assure you one thing, though, that when it comes to programming, especially the essentials of programming they are pretty much the same i mean they pretty much don't change over time of course they do change but they don't change drastically so if you're watching this video maybe uh maybe five years from now or ten years from now i can assure you one thing that they are still gonna be useful for you they are still gonna bring value to your life or programming life okay so without any waste of time let, let's read through the question it's actually on page 132 let me zoom in so that everyone can properly see i know some people are short-sighted some are long-sighted and i hope this will do it for everyone because so here's the question we're doing 3.4 oh again we've got two stars next to our quest exercise number that tells you one thing and one thing only that this exercise is a bit challenging compared to other exercises right there's also uh, there are also exercises with three stars in case you did not know but we are gonna get there not now later of course okay so it's a random month problem okay we gotta write a program that randomly generates an integer between 1 and 12 and displays the english month name so january february up to december for number one two three accordingly i mean that's pretty straightforward if you ask me i don't know why they decided to put two stars but i know i know you you might you 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 might think the exact opposite of that as an absolute beginner. So I'm going to assume you don't even know what to do. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me just go exercise 3 underscore 3 and then put an A. Of course, we do need. Oh, that should be a 4, not a 3. Okay. Of course, we do need our main method. Let me put this side over here. Again, I'm not promoting this side. But hey, those people, I feel like I'll be bringing them traffic. But who cares anyways? Okay, this is the site I used or I downloaded my PDF from. So feel free to go there, get your own copy so that you can work on these exercises too okay it is time we get started okay so what is it what is the very first thing we want to do before we even do a thing 
we wanna randomly pick a number between uh, 1 and 12 and that number will tell us and we would I mean our program would have to give us a corresponding month name right okay thanks god it seems like we're no longer working with the scanner of i mean i've had enough with the scanner class okay what do we do right now we got a generate generate a random number between between one and twelve I hope everyone I hope everyone knows how to do that. We'll simply go random number and then uh and then simply say int we want a random number between one and twelve. So we're gonna do a random number between zero and eleven. Of course we we then gonna have to increment that so that we get a random number between 0 and 1 i mean 1 and 12 of course what you want to what you want to do though is to use pre increment is to use pre increment i'll simply go random number plus plus of course we could have added a plus right here i just it's just that i decided to do it this way it doesn't matter you do whatever that works with you okay so what i want to do right now what i want to do right now is to uh is to use if else statements and i'll simply go if And I will simply go if random number if random number is equals to one. What is it I want to do in that case? I'll simply go system. Damn mosquito! Hey, gosh, that was a bit painful. These mosquitoes—they very, they are very annoying. Okay. Where was I? Okay, I was about to print out. I was about to print out. Oh, January. January. However, I've got to proceed that with the corresponding uh, number. Again, we're doing this from student A's perspective. This is actually the bad way of doing it. The lame way, perhaps that's what I should say. This is the lame way of doing it. But I... Uh, okay. What you want to do, we want to change that to February F. Why can I spell February? Okay. And then we gotta put a two right there. I'll simply copy and paste this so, so that we'll avoid wasting time. So this is our second case. That case corresponds to much. And then we put a three over there. And our fourth case corresponds to March, to March, it's not March, April. Our fourth case corresponds to April, and we do May. We do May. We do June. I hope everyone can follow this. What I did is I decided to copy and paste these different conditions. Why uh, I'm trying to avoid wasting time here. So once we do June, we do July. Oh gosh, it's July. We put a 7 here. 
and a seven there okay now we gotta deal with August August I wonder if there are people with the last name of July June May May or April because I know there are people with the la whose last name is August okay anyways let's continue once we're done with August we wanna do September September and lastly we deal I mean not lastly we deal with October November and then December okay but I won't, I'm not gonna put December right now what I'll simply put is October So October correspond to ten. November correspond to eleven. Mm, November, November, November. And else, why do we put the word else here? It because we know that. Since we'll be getting a number between 1 and 12, if it is not 1, no, nor is it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on up to 11, then it has to be 12. So that's why we'll, be, we'll simply put an else instead of an if else statement. Here we'll simply put a 12 and then simply go December. Right? Okay, I mean that should be it for this exercise. Again, I want you guys to know this is the lame way of doing this problem. So I want you to uh, I want you to check out my next solution. You see, we get ten October, six June. To February, you can keep hitting the run button, it will keep going, it will keep giving you different uh, names for a corresponding number. Okay, I mean, that should be it for this tutorial. Please check out my next tutorial ex uh, solution on this exercise where we'll be improving it because. Again, I'm saying this. This is the lame solution you can have on this exercise. So please check out my next tutorial. Cheers, you guys. I'm gone.